Hello, I'm Steve Ellswick, uh, publisher of the magazine Extraordinary Technology. This is a quarterly magazine that comes out and focuses on alternative energy and alternative medicine. You've heard of the cutting edge, well, we're on the bleeding edge. The stuff that we discuss in our magazine are about 10 to 15 years ahead of their time. We cover such features as Paul Pantone and the GEAT device. This device will, will literally allow your vehicle or any gas engine to burn uh, just about anything, you know, and it puts out more oxygen than it takes in. Uh, in a conventional engine, you have the carbon being locked up into the oxygen, which is depleting the atmosphere of oxygen. <laughs> Using GEAT, those hydrocarbons will find the carbon being unlocked from the uh, carbon, and therefore more oxygen actually enters the air. Uh, another technology uh, we highlight would be the Oregon Energy by Wilhelm Reich, which is the living energy that surrounds all of us. This energy could be used for uh, energy projection, as we see in the, the Joe cell down here in the lower, uh, lower left corner. Or it could be used to, uh, for cloud busting, as Constable, Trevor Constable did back in the 1960s through the 1990s and even today. Uh, many of you may uh, know about Arizona, it being a mountainous, dry, arid region. In the 1950s, Wilhelm Reich came to Arizona and started using his cloud buster there. And within months, they had the worst floods that they ever imagined in Arizona resulting in a comprehensive flood control program being built throughout the entire state. Other technologies uh, we examined is Tesla. Tesla is our hero. You know, uh, Tesla was not a demigod here, but he was a very brilliant person whose work has never really been fully understood. And even today, there's a lot to be gained from his knowledge. In our magazine, we cover it. Tesla in each and every issue. Uh, we have a bookstore. Basically through mail order, we call it the Tesla Resource Guide. And through here, you can find a wide variety of books that the uh, free energy researcher should have on his bookshelf. You know, uh, one of the most fascinating things I find about Tesla is the fabled Tesla car. It would have been a Pierce Arrow, and there is no direct information on it. You have a third-person accounts, which we cover, and we explain to you in detail in this book why we believe that Tesla really had this car. First of all, he said he had a motive device that could operate on cosmic rays. Imagine that, being able to hook a six-foot antenna on your vehicle and take off, you know, working off the energy of the universe. Was it real? Well, a couple of years later, well, many years later, uh, just a few years ago, in 2000, I built this little device by this finger here called the Kepler motor. This motor here had a 3 amp input, a 30 amp output. It worked for about three weeks. I thought that it couldn't work because I'm an electrical engineer. And I tell you what, there's not an equation in our engineering books that will make this device work. However, this device has six feet of wire between uh, the battery and the uh, alternator and the motor. Four six-foot wires. This device charged that battery from 12.8 volts to 14.6 volts in two hours. We cut that wire, put an inverter on it, put a 100-watt watt light bulb on it, and it continued working for three weeks. This is a total, absolute, physical impossibility according to the conventional laws of physics as we understand them in our schools today. However, keep in mind the six-foot number. Do you realize that you pick up uh, radio engineering manuals from the early part of the last century? It would tell you, don't touch a six-foot antenna. Our theory here is that there is a band of energy surrounding this Earth at six feet. Uh, with a wavelength of six feet, or resonant frequency thereof. It is this energy we believe that Tesla was tapping into, and one of our efforts here at Tesla Tech 
is to uh, tap into this. Uh, we invite you to call and get our ca uh, free catalog, or you can get our uh, information on our conference, which will be in Salt Lake City, July 26th to 29th. Uh, and see some of this equipment working. Uh, we'll have a lot of vendors there, We're like a uh, hydrogen Hummer will be there, and a host of people, and you can sit down and talk to people directly. And maybe, just maybe, you might be able to catch me in a free moment. Anyway, it's great talking to you. Thank you for the opportunity.